Hello, this is Brother Cromar from the Math Department at BYU-Idaho, and this is a supplement, an SPSS supplement, of the things that you need to know in SPSS to do simple linear regression. And so what I'll talk about today is two items. One is regression in SPSS as well as scatter plots. Okay? So first of all, what I want to do is, is that here is a data set here. This is the crocodile data set where we're trying to predict body length based off of head length. Okay? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to Analyze, Regression, and Linear. Okay, So then I'm trying to predict body length based off of head length. So, so there's two different spots here, dependent and independent box. And so if you remember, our dependent variable is also equal to the dependent variable. And so body length goes up here. Okay. The, 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 ex, the explanatory variable, or the independent variable, is head length, and so that will go down right here. All right. So I'll click on OK, and then here's our results. And so the thing, for at least for this lesson, that you need to know about is this is where you get our information in terms of our y-intercept and our slope. It's underneath standardized coefficients under the coefficient box, and the top number is our y-intercept, and our second number is our slope. So if we're going to put this together, it would be y hat is equal to um, the y intercept negative 18.274 plus 7.66 times x. Okay, that would be our regression slope. Now, if we wanted to, we can actually use SPSS to predict um, our body length based off of a head length. Okay, what we can do is, in fact, let me put this in here. If I say put in a head length of 60, I'll put in 60 here. Okay, and if I leave this blank, okay, we can do something to predict uh, body length based off of a head length. And so if we wanted to know what the body length is, if the, he the predicted body length of a head length is 60, we put 60 here. We go analyze, regression, linear again, and I'll keep this here. So then you do what you do is you cl click on save, and then you click on predicted values unstandardized. So if you click on that. Click on continue. Click on okay. Okay, you get the you get these results. Okay, get these results here in. Um, this is the same results that we have earlier, but now it's changed. Is that now we have numbers here on the right, and these are our predicted values of y given these x's here. So we have all these x's here, our x variables, and now we have the x variable. The the value is 60. And then this would be our predicted y, which is 441.332. So that's a that's a real slick way of doing it, rather than using uh, using a calculator. Okay. The last item I want to mention here is doing scatter plots. Okay. Now scatter plots, what I'll do is I'll go back to my SPSS here, and using the same data, I'm going to go to graphs, legacy dialog, and scatter plots. And we've done this before. And we'll do a simple scatter, and that's the default. So we'll click on define. So body length, as mentioned before, that's that's our y variable, and head length is our x variable, and then we click on OK, and then we get a scatter plot. Okay, and here's a scatter plot. That's something that you've seen before. So I'm going to double click on this graph to get my chart editor, and then I just click on Elements, Fit Line at Total, and that gives you your scatter plot. It gives you your fitted line. Okay, and that represents, and this line here represents the the regression line. In fact, you can see it right. You can kind of see it right here. In fact, let me get out of this here. You can see it right here, where this is the regression line, where this is our y-intercept and this is our slope, and this here is represents that line. So as our as our x, our head length goes up by one, our y, our body length goes up by on average by 7.66. Okay, and that concludes the video dealing with SPSS commands for simple linear regression.